Hi, it's Lynette today and um, I'm filming. I've kind of popped upstairs to film um, during my lunch and the weather is absolutely miserable outside. The sky is great. It's been ro raining all week. My husband's off this week so I really feel sorry for him because he was planning on doing work in the garden. Um, we've got a, a wall to kind of build but it's like a, a dry, um, what do you call it? Like a dry stone wall. Um, but part of it was cemented in, but the other part wasn't. And because we're on a hill, there's obviously been quite a few slant, like slant, well, we don't want to say landslips, but the, the mud and everything's obviously slipped and it's covered all the stones and knocked them over. So he's going to have to, he's going to try and rebuild it, but just cement it rather than keeping it dry stone. But obviously he, he needs to have dry weather to do the cementing. So yeah, he's managed to get one layer done last week. Um, after work when the sun was shining but um, it's just raining constantly and I remember I'm saying it can't keep raining so hopefully we'll have this week of rain and then I'm off so he's just popped to Aldi to do our um, weekly shop and hopefully kind of find himself with some bits and pieces to do in the house so I do feel sorry for him but I think he's got to take his car to the garage he's got a He's going to fit me a new plug socket on my breakfast bar so I can put my KitchenAid there. So I'm going to be delighted with that. And I can put, um, if I'm filming there and I want to put my ring light on. Talking about ring lights, <laughs> this tripod is broken and wonky and my ring light for some reason won't stay up. So because it's miserable, I've just actually used the ring light to the left of me um, to provide a wee bit more light as well as the, the light in the bedroom. Now the light in this bedroom is shocking because it is spotlights. And it's over to the right side of the room. Nothing's in the middle. None of my light fittings are in the middle. But we have Artex and the danger with Artex that's over 25 years old is that it could have asbestos. So don't ever kind of just go drilling in. Because Steve is going to remove them all and replace and re-Artex re or plaster or whatever. But we've decided that actually we'll leave them for now until we can get somebody in to do some asbestos testing. Then we will leave them in their odd position but hopefully be able to fit something better or maybe in this room fit two lights one on that side one on the other I don't know anyway I'm blathering on and you're probably thinking what's Lynette here for today so I am here um I'm being good I took my own bags um but I've got a, a home bargains haul so Brandon went to the gym the other day there and he said to me I'm only going to be about an hour um do you want to pop to home bargains so we did that and then Matalan was there, I had a wander around there, there was um, a couple of other shops so kind of the hour passed really really quickly. So I just popped in and bought some bits and pieces. So I've got my, um, my receipt here, now everything bar one thing, One yeah everything bar one thing <laughs> was just like about a pound or under a pound which I think is fantastic. So I'll just go through the list and I'll show you what I've got. <laughs> I am trying to be good. And for some reason, whenever I kind of try and cut back a bit, I always kind of seek out stuff like these Dutch crisp beds. And um, they're amazing if you've never tried them before. They're so hard and crunchy, so I wouldn't eat them when anyone else was around because we're all funny about um, eating noises, which is why I can never watch people eating on camera or mukbangs or whatever are like, oh, send me into crisis. Honestly, I hate them. But um, I would hate myself when I'm crunching these, but um, I'll eat them when Steve's not around. So they're only 37 calories each. You can top them with some cream cheese and tomatoes and they just make a lovely little snack. And you actually feel like you've eaten something. So if you've never tried them, they're very crunchy and um, they do sit in your cupboard for quite a while. And these ones have no palm oil, which is good. So I'm looking forward to trying them. And those were... Da -da 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 -da. 49 pence. I don't know why I only picked up one. So these, these were gorgeous. All, all I've got now is a box. Um, so they're less than 99 calories. They're bliss and they're white chocolate and lemon flavoured whipped bars. And they're also gluten free. If you've got um, anybody coming around, you can pick some of these up. Gluten free snacks. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They're covered in white chocolate as well. So I thought I would try those. Normally I try the skinny whip. But I thought, oh, try these for a wee change. And um, those were under a pound as well. I needed some hair mousse. Um, so I just thought I'm going to pick up the inset volumizing mousse. Extra holds with B5 for condition and shine. And um, inset reminds me 
always off my mum. She always, she didn't use hair mist, but she always had the big, massive tin of inset hairspray. Um, so whenever I see inset, I'm always like, oh, she just reminds me of mum. Um, I, she probably still uses it. <laughs> we always used to say there'd be a hole over the ozone layer um, above our house, the amount of hairspray mum used. Um, so the next here is Bristol's Extra Firm Hold Hairspray. Talking about hairspray. So what I usually do, and I've not done it today, is um, today I've put on the... Cantu Curl Cream, the avocado one, um, and no, it's not the avocado one. It's just a regular one. Um, I've just popped the yeah. I've just popped on some Cantu cream that I had, and um, normally I pop some hairspray on it. But the instructions did say kind of it's it's good if you use it with the jelly, the gel. So before I used the Cantu cream, but I used the jelly as well. Um, so I need to pick some up because I just think, yeah, it's nice and soft. It's not got that crunchiness of mousse, but my curls aren't defined. So the hairspray does come in handy, I think, when I'm styling my hair. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I picked up some of this, the pink stuff by Stardrops. Now, Stardrops is a fantastic brand. Stardrops just used to be, in my mind, um, sugar soap. That you used if you were decorating you know to wipe down your woodwork and things like that uh, but now they've kind of gone into this pink stuff which everybody loves they also do um white vinegar um mirror spray a glass cleaner which is amazing but this is a pink stuff by star drops so star drops was a brand that you know I, I knew just as sugar soap but i absolutely love this it is pink in color when you spray it and it's a nice gentle bathroom cleaner um it, it's not full of bleach like some of them um it just depends sometimes i use my silic bang with bleach in the bathroom to give it a good proper scrub but other days i just want to use that um try not to use too much bleach once a week i bleach the loose um and i bleach down um the thing in the kitchen that holds my cutlery my dish rack because that's got lots of different grooves in it. So I spray that with a silic bang and I'll, I'll bleach my cotton cloths once a week. Um, so yeah, but that is really nice. If you're looking for a nice bathroom cleaner that's easy to rinse and it's no hassle, honestly. Now I picked up these, so if you want to know the price of that one, um, I'll be able to find it here, will I? I can't find it. Oh, it's up here 99 pence so i picked up these pg tips these were only 165 although it says 265 on the packet um <laughs> but i have tetley in the house and i did have a massive box of pg tips that brandon brought he bought them one time when he was at costco and when they run out we just bought um tetley but he was telling us he doesn't like tetley he doesn't like scottish blend he doesn't like this that or the next and he likes pg tips so i thought okay i'll pick him up a box of pg tips um and i hope he notices the taste <laughs> when i make him a cup of tea i'm gonna do a blind taste test give him tetley and tell him it's pg tips or give him pg tips and see if he notices he probably will um i've got a dishmatic so i've just um bought a couple of refills and um i quite like the dishmatic but i'm not sure i'm not really sure because there's plastic on them i'm not sure if i'll continue to buy them We'll see. Um, just It just feels like it's adding a bit of plastic. So if I was just buying a sponge and soaking it with fairy liquid, you know, I'm saving all that plastic that I'm replacing every week or so. That's just the way my mind's thinking at the moment. Um, my colour catchers. Honestly, I almost always put these in every every load especially if i've got colors on there i never mix my colors i am weird with my washing by the way um i do so many different types of colored loads but my washing machine it's a new machine and it 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 doesn't like give you a full load of water um it, it works out whether it needs less water or more water so i don't feel bad about doing a half load um but anyway these go in the washing they're fantastic i absolutely love them and i always get a box for um a couple of boxes for stephen and i'll be heading up to see him hopefully soon so i don't think he sorts any of his washing out um so that just i think that just always helps so because we use our bags again i picked up these 40 handy bags 
Um, it says does all the jobs your old shopping bag used to. So I use them as pedal bin liners in the house. And um, quite often what I'll do is if one's full in the bathroom, I'll just empty it into say Brandon's bedroom one. So I'm not changing them all the time. Um, I am trying to be more sustainable. In the, but what I really want is, I think Pineland do them, is the the bags that are compostable so they break down over time so I need to get to Poundland and pick some of these up now these are £1.99 I saw um, a lady that I follow on Instagram post these they're face cloths and they're made with bamboo now bamboo is much more sustainable than cotton the process of making cotton um, and the environmental damage it does is it's absolutely horrendous um, the water that it takes to produce cotton um, and then the chemicals that spill out into the rivers and it's honestly I think if you could see I watched there's a, a lady called Stacey Dooley um, in the UK and I watched her documentary on it and it really made me think twice about you know even organic cotton the amount of water that it uses so yeah this is the bamboo face cloths and one good thing about them is they're really really soft so I could only get them in white and sometimes I kind of get a bit I'm a bit strange because I do kind of get a bit upset when they get stained but they are just for taking my makeup off they're not for like kind of like the bathroom for you know how people put out fancy face gloss and stuff they're just for me just to take my makeup off um and to cut down as well on cotton pads so I'm looking forward to trying those I'm playing it on the way eh? as I'm kind of pulling out here the Schwarzkopf super soft kids detangling spray I absolutely love this um I've nearly finished my other one which is why I was able to buy this one I did give one to Freya as well which she loves um, so I picked up one for myself, but next time I go, I'll probably pick a couple up and pass one on to Freya. And last but not least, um, a pack of ladies' razors. I'm not really fussed whether they're men's or women's, but um, I saw these as I was going round and I picked them up. Quite often you'll find you're charged more for a pink razor, especially from the bigger companies. So yeah, be be wary of that. If you if you compare your razors and you think, why am I paying an extra pound for a pack of razors just because they're pink? Um, but I've just picked these up, cheap as chips anyway. And they've got aloe vera and vitamin E. So that's 10 twin grade disposable razors. Now, I think I might actually look into Lady Mawa did it. The, the company that, I think they maybe, you just get the replacement heads rather than all that plastic. So I do need to look into that. That's one area I can cut back. Um, so anyway, guys, I feel like I've lectured you a wee bit. <laughs> I'm really sorry. But um, sustainability is becoming kind of like my new thing. So um, you know what it's like when you kind of get into something and you find out something about um, things and you become a bit more passionate about it. And with every purchase, I think to myself, did I need that? Is That's just more plastic. Um, so yeah, I am trying to think along those lines of try and be more sensible in what you buy. And you know, for example, my razors, that could have just actually been a razor head. Um, and that's much less plastic so yeah that's something that I'll need to do to kind of be more sustainable I'm sure you can get all these kind of bamboo razor heads and what have you not razors obviously but anyway guys thank you so much for watching that was just a small haul just a wee bit of a mixed haul and um, I'll speak to you soon bye guys